Hi, I'm Luis Moreno from Legion of Racers. With Gran Turismo 7's new driving model, it has been a challenge for many players to adapt to the new physics. It may seem difficult at first, especially without driving assists, but it can be quickly overcome. That said, here are my 5 driving tips for Gran Turismo 7. The new driving physics of GT7 are more noticeable on rear-wheel drive cars, regardless of their engine layout. Most notably, when accelerating out of a corner without any traction control, the car can suddenly snap just when you think the grip is there. To overcome this without traction control, the best thing to do is to apply the throttle as smoothly as possible. Start by accelerating right at the end of the corner when the straight is clear ahead, then slowly making your acceleration points earlier until you find the optimal point. Minimize your steering inputs. Cars in GT7 tend to oversteer a lot more now, particularly when plenty of steering angle is applied under acceleration or even in mid-corner. The cars feel more like go-karts now with the current driving model, so it is best to minimize steering inputs around the corner. Not only would it help keep the car stable, but it would also help save your front-end tires on races that have tire wear. Brake early like I have mentioned in my previous tips video, braking early is recommended when learning a new car and track combo. This is more useful in GT7 now, not only when shifting from one car to another, but also when you have made some power-related upgrades to your car. This also comes into play when driving in dynamic weather conditions. Speaking of dynamic weather, use the weather radar. Weather conditions can change really fast just like in real life. In some races, the race can start with clear skies and a perfectly dry track only to have torrential rain two laps later. You will want to monitor the weather using the weather radar on the MFD. It will be easier to predict the weather when you set your weather radar to a 150 km radius. This way, you will be able to see the general direction and scope of the forecast along with how strong the rain would be to help you decide if you need to pit and change tires. Keep the ABS on Although turning off the ABS is key to better driving, having ABS enabled in Gran Turismo is generally more beneficial even on competitive situations. For some reason, the ABS works differently in this game as opposed to other racing titles. Most if not all cars will work best with ABS on, but depending on your driving style, you can still choose to experiment with the other settings once you get used to the default option. These are my 5 personal driving tips that will help improve your Gran Turismo 7 experience, and maybe even help you get gold in license tests and driving missions much easier. You may discover other tricks along the way, but as always, the more you drive, the more you learn. For more content and updates on events, make sure to check out Legion of Racers on our social media pages and our website at legionofracers.com.